Welcome back to x TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth and hold again. Great! This time let's do it together. Breathe in and hold and then breathe out and hold again. That was so calming. Let's see what happened today in history with Tatiana. Thank you, Nia. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on May 24th, 1883, the brilliant feat of the 18th century, the Brooklyn Bridge, first opened. The Brooklyn Bridge is a bridge in New York City between Manhattan and Brooklyn. Several days after its opening, many people throughout New York crowded this bridge for a Memorial Day stroll on its steel and rock surface. There were troops state officials, cannons, and fireworks. This bridge quickly became very popular, making it the eighth wonder of the world. Wow, have you ever seen the Brooklyn Bridge? Now, let's see what's for lunch today with Zarmel. Thank you, Tatiana. Today's tasting lunch is hot dog, turkey and cheese sandwich, celery, sweet waffle fries, diced pears, and no trace of milk. And tomorrow breakfast is sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burrito, graham crackers, fresh apples, cocoa puffs, 100% apple juice, and your trace of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time and start always bring a lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Zaymal. Students, this code instructional software challenge will end next week on June 2nd. Time flies, so make sure to get those lessons done. Check the fly for the requirements. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Attention all 8th graders, promise tomorrow. Make sure to put on your shoes and get ready to dance. Pre-sales for the yearbook are now on sale on myschoolbox.com for $45. Don't miss this chance to own this special keepsake. Students, remember the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the 6th and 7th graders' turn to go, so don't forget your tickets. Our epic lip sync battle took place last week. Now let's go check out some highlights from our amazing lip sync battle. Yes. Second annual staff versus student. Hey. Uh, how's everyone doing this evening? All right, we're going to start it again. Now we have
All did an amazing job. The full video will be up on our YouTube channel. Congrats to all the winners. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Nia. Today's weather is expected to be a nice 88 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. In other weather news, the Olympics might be a key to restoring a river. In case you weren't aware, the 2024 Summer Olympics is being held in Paris. Paris is home to the Seine River, which has not allowed the public to swim in since 1923. However, since the idea is to hold some of the Olympics water swimming in the river, France is creating a rigorous plan to clean the river and get it back up to code. Given a budget greater than $1.5 billion, the plan is to clean and improve infrastructure like sewage and stormwater drainage system that may be affecting it. If everything goes to plan, they might even allow the public to swim in the sign after the Olympics. Now let's go to Ariel for our birthdays. Thank you, Manny. Today's birthday girls and boys are... My Vansley Pierre, Kirsten Stevenson, Kalia Banner, Angie Murillo, Diana Robles, and Jacob Ruiz. Happy birthday! Well, let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here at Pax Expectations, represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat those goals of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Michaels and Miss Arnold. You two have the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was What's the capital of France? The correct answer was the letter F. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!